Okay. Uh, just yeah. so we get an idea. What's your name? My name is Zach Dinnett. I'm a biochemistry major in my second year at KU. Where are you from? I am from Winfield, Kansas. So, uh, when did you start playing Flappy Bird? I saw a bunch of people post about it on Twitter about two weeks ago, and so me and my friends all, all downloaded together, so basically right when it came out. Okay, what did you think about the game? I didn't like it at first because it was really hard, but my friends and I all had competitions, so like I would get to 8, and then he would get to 12, and then I would have to pick it up again until I beat him, and it just basically back and forth. Did you learn any like tricks on how to get better at it, or was it just like playing it? It's basically just playing it over and over again. The trick is basically get the bird as close to the pipe as possible before you go because otherwise you'll just hit on the top of the next one. But no, it's just practice makes perfect. Okay, what were your thoughts when you heard it wouldn't be offered in the app store anymore? Um, I wasn't too broken up about it. I did feel really bad for the developer because apparently, I think the story was he took it down because he got so much harassment over it. So that kind of sucks, but I wasn't addicted to the game. It didn't really make that much of a difference to me. So how did you get the idea to that people were, where did you get the idea that people um, were selling their phones? Of selling my phone. So um, I saw posts online about people selling their phone because Flappy Bird had been taken down, so it became like a commodity. And so I posted on Twitter as a joke that I would sell my phone for two hundred dollars. I thought it'd be funny. I did see some successful sales on eBay, so that's pretty funny. <laughs> um, what would you recommend to people trying to sell their phones for Flappy Bird? <laughs> I, I don't know that you'd have much success because I think the average person would probably just pirate the game instead. But if you can get some money out of it, by all means, go for it. Okay.